Hello guys, what's up? Today I'm going to talk about the part 29 of the Fight Club Movie Alchemy series. And it's about sex with Marla. So Tyler has sex, a lot, lots of sex with Marla, and very noisy. He makes a lot of noise during the sex, and he eventually bothers Jack, who, who's reading downstairs, and he can focus. And, but eventually, they, they're all the same thing, the same person, because and one is the alter ego of another. So, yeah, after Tyler makes screaming sex upstairs, uh, Jack doesn't even mind about it because he's so, he's compared like a Zen master. So the next quote is Jack in voiceover. I became the calm little center of the world. I was the Zen master. Why was he compared to a Zen master? Because he, he was so comfortable in that dilapidated house, in that hazy conditions of living, that he didn't even mind the, the warm stair refrigerator, refrigerator the, all the water downstairs on the basement, the, the problems with the electricity. The, the, the noises of Tyler having sex, all that didn't seem to bother him because he, he was so charged with energy from the, those fights and he was so uh, uh, happy with his life that he that didn't even mind. So a master is one who controls his thoughts, his feelings, no, doesn't control, but he accepts what, what goes on within. He's about in peace with his surroundings, minding things in which he can't control, such as thoughts and actions. Those are the only things we can control, thoughts and actions. And a master also goes within, deep within, for, for, in search for meaning, for, for answers. So, I, I talked about Jack, but what about Tyler? What does he say? What is this condition? Tyler, even though he possesses very enlightening qualities, such as doesn't mind, he doesn't mind about status quo, about reputation, about he just welcomes things open-heartedly as they come. He's, he's not concerned with if he was gonna lose or win, he doesn't have the greed to win and doesn't have the fear to lose. He just is open, his heart is open to anything that might come to him without resistance. So these are very enlightening qualities of a person. However, he, when it comes to the pleasure of the senses, when it comes to his actions, daily actions, they are very bound to matter, bonded to matter. The, he, he, he still likes a lot, enjoys a lot of sex, and though there's nothing wrong with that, but he seems to overdo it. He seems to uh, be too indulgent about sex, exaggerating. So this is not a, a, a mark of character from, from the master. So, uh, a master silences his mind and becomes devoted to a higher power. And that's not what he was doing here. He was just doing sex for the sake of doing sex, for the, for the, for the feelings, good feelings. So, this is not very good approach to the problem. Having sex like a freak, <laughs> because uh, the only the only way to attain a lasting peace of mind is through inner work. There's no other way around it. You gotta refrain from society a little bit and just focus on within, meditating, 
uh, practicing some practices that, that, that cultivate the spirit, such as Tai Chi Chuan, yoga, meditation. And you got to focus on yourself uh, and, and let go of these indulgences and in, 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 in indulgences in, in the senses, looking, searching for meaning without searching from, from searching from searching for excitement and, and joy to, from without and not looking within in within is where you find all answers because you, you enter in contact with that divinity that higher power which which contact you, you you derive a lot of joy and bliss and all the good quality uh, feelings, good quality feelings. Because the, the pleasures of the flesh are very transient, very ephemeral. They change in no time, in no time they, they, they start to change. So even when you get what you want in the outer world, like a, a musical instrument, or you get a, to do a, a trip, you get to uh, buy a new house, you, there is an initial excitement, but then you take for granted and it doesn't give you more, that much joy. But when you connect it to that source within, the wellspring of joy and bliss, you, you, you are, you can appreciate every single circumstance and be one with God and be uh, feeling good within yourself because now you, you devote all your actions to the to a higher power, to the divinity that, that encompasses all of us, all the things in the universe. So that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.